What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to another episode of the Mulletcast, the podcast where business and pleasure collide. My name is Evan Balmer. Mike Marcia. What's going on, Mike? What's going on? How's it been? Good. Thanks, man. Today we are live at Fruit Bowls in Colts Neck, New Jersey. We're sitting with the owners, Ray and Christine Garland. Uh, maybe that's their son who yeah. runs a joint. What's going on? Well? <laughs> What's up, Ray and Christine? How are you guys doing? We're doing great. Thanks, Evan. Thank you for having us. Well, Thank you for being here. That's cool. that? All this right. is outside the room. We pre- appreciate you having us. Um, we actually have a mutual friend, Man vs. Wood, uh, Evan, another Evan. And I, I, I think you told us he likes to pop in here every so often, right? Yeah, Evan pops in uh, quite frequently. He lives down the block. His shop is on the block. And he's always showing his wood every time he comes in. <laughs> <laughs> that guy loves talking about his wood, for yeah. sure. <laughs> All the time. Great guy, though. Great guy. That's cool. Um, so why don't you tell us a little bit about you guys? Obviously, you haven't owned a Fruit Bowls franchise your whole life. What did you? What kind of got you here? What's your background? All right. Uh, I've been a Port Authority police for 25 years. Um, just retired about a year ago. And uh, my wife's Christine's friend had a daughter, or has a daughter, that has this concept of Fruit Bowls. Uh, we saw it take off in Howell, the original store. We saw it take off in Freehold. And uh, they decided they were going to start going public. And uh, my wife and myself said, listen, I'm retiring. I could afford the opportunity to give it a shot. Mm-hmm. And uh, we jumped into it. Um, it's been going great. Uh, we've been here almost... What? A year and a half. A year and a half now. And uh, the community is awesome. You know, I can't say enough about it. Uh, but being a police officer 25 years, I've seen people at their best, and I've seen people at their worst. Right. So uh, one of the things that uh, we wanted to do was owning the franchise and owning the small uh, local country town. Uh, we wanted to give back as much as we can. Mm-hmm. Um, we're involved in a lot of business associations. Uh, that's how we've met. Of course, yep. Uh, big, 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 big key key to success. You know, marketing, advertising, charity, all go hand in hand. Right. Mm-hmm. So, Christine, what were you doing while Ray was working at the Port Authority? So, in addition to raising my three children, right. so Raymond's 24, Joey's 21, and Gianna will be 17 in two weeks. Wow. Um, I worked part-time at Victoria's Secret for 20 years. Wow. So, I was okay. a sales specialist. Prior to that, I worked in Manhattan for attorneys for about uh, 12 years before right. I had my children. Okay. So, uh, sales was definitely better for me. I like to work with people, customer service, so we thought it would be a good mix right. uh, with the business and have our children, while they're in college, run the store with us and learn how to run a business. Um, in the future, they, they do like working in restaurants and things mm-hmm. like that, so we thought it might all tie together uh, cool. for the kids, too, for the future. Nice. Awesome. And where were you working mostly in New York as part of Port Authority? You kind of are, are you assigned to one spot, or do you... No, I mean, it's, uh, <clears throat> it's really unique. With Port Authority, uh, they own all the airports. Right. Uh, they own the World Trade Center, mm-hmm. now the Freedom Towers. Uh, they own the Port Authority bus terminal. Right. Any uh, bridge that goes from New York to New Jersey and any tunnel that goes from New York to New Jersey. Uh, they also own Red Hook uh, ship terminals, uh, cruise terminal. Right. Um, so it was a unique unique job because mm-hmm. at any given time I could be meeting uh, security for a president uh, I've met three popes or two popes um, dignitaries I've done security for heads of state uh, celebrities celebrity baseball fans football fans I mean I'm sorry football uh, athletes so uh, I've seen the best of the best mm-hmm. and sometimes I've worked at the Port Authority bus terminal right. and after the rush hour traffic of pedestrians leaves, then there's a little bit more of what I call the opportunists left. Right. And, uh, you know, so it's been, it's been a great, great, great mm-hmm. mix of, uh, of, of a job. That's so, awesome. so after you decided to retire, what made you go this route of Fruitables? You know, it's, there's a lot of franchises out there looking for new spots to open. Uh, this, you know, this company is known for healthy food healthy living is there did that kind of gravitate sure. to what you guys want 100 what happened is uh, when we 
talked about the concept. And like I said, being a police officer, a lot of times you work in shift work. Mm-hmm. Uh, you know, I had access to a lot of great, great, great restaurants in New York, New Jersey, Brooklyn, Jersey. So you, you grab the bowl every day for lunch, I guess, right? No, 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 no. <laughs> by no means, by no uh, means. Anything uh, greasy. Anything that was probably <laughs> not good for you but right. tasted great, yeah. I was well over. Right. And, it's like uh, the classic grab a slice on the way to uh, yeah. yes, take you know, out, right? And, uh, well, she was so, so successful um, as, as you know, my friend Maria's daughter opened it. So we went to support her and my friends and I and were like, this is such a cool place. Yeah. The kids loved it. My kids loved it. Like it was just a fun atmosphere. So yeah. it just seemed to work at the time. It seemed like a good opportunity because he's like, I'm retiring. What am I going to do? I'm young. And yeah. the, the kids liked the restaurant, the food business. They would, you know... Um, Busting tables, they've waited at high end restaurants also, and they just it just looked like it would work yeah. because it was something everyone had an opportunity. Uh, and my daughter loved; she worked for them. She loved the food. She loved the whole concept of it, the healthy part of it, the fun part of Absolutely. it. Absolutely. And it's very different. It looks like something you'd see in Manhattan. It's industrial look, and it's different. There was nothing like it around. So yeah. we're like, this is a great concept. Right. We love it, and it was easy for me to get involved because my friend owns it. So yeah. we said this is great, and she was doing so well. So that's why uh, we wanted to get involved with it. And ideally, it. It, it was perfect timing because, yeah. timing was really um, good. like I said, I retired. Uh, my kids were older. My daughter goes to Colson High School. This right. shop that we right. own is literally five minutes from my house. Yeah, the mm-hmm. location works for us, for okay. you know, our, our lifestyle and just with everything know, that we're doing. Um, and we works. just, you know, it's become like a mecca for high schools, mm-hmm. uh, elementary, you know, uh, middle school. And what's going on is, you know, my era, you, parents would take you to a restaurant. Now it's sort of the opposite with the younger kids and millennials. Right. They're taking their parents and showing them how to eat healthy. So a lot of times what yeah. will happen... It's 100%. So, it's, funny, yeah. Yeah. it's crazy. It's, 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 uh, it's awesome. We it's learn awesome from them. Because what's going on is they're teaching their parents about, you know, acai, pataya, kale, yeah, right. stuff that you've never heard of right. before. That's cool. They're made up words. Made up words. Exactly. <laughs> yeah, they're not, they're not real. People yeah. try to pronounce it. It's Just so funny. Like, so, what would you say to me? I, yeah. I, I, I know. Nobody knows what it is. So, uh, totally. That's that's, so, so what's your role in the business then? Well, what happened is the business is starting to take off. The population of Colts Neck, I believe, is like a little over 10,000 people. So what happened is understanding that we're a great, great addition to the town. Mm-hmm. The town loves us. We love the town. But they have to eat fruit bowls every single day, you know, to kind of right. maintain um, profit, yeah. you know, to be, to be in existence. So what we did was, is in order to get the additional income, we decided to do a lot of catering. And that's what we've been hitting. It. Yeah. Um, a lot of doctors that live in town. We right. talked about you know, a couple of things where yeah. uh, to reward their staff, they'll come in and they'll buy them a platter of uh, food bowls. Right. Like, and, you know, we can feed 20 people for lunch. Yeah. It's yeah. fun. It's a good morale booster on a Friday afternoon. Mm-hmm. You know, and so, you know, that we've been uh, pretty successful with that. That's cool. Open houses, you mentioned, Open too. Houses, Open real estate. Yeah. Um, a lot of birthday parties. A, a lot of the teenagers now, instead of a cake, the mom will come in and say, my daughter doesn't want a cake, she wants a Fruit Bowl platter. That's yeah, cool. So it's That's fun. Awesome. You know, sometimes I'll put s'mores on it, marshmallows, if I know it's for kids, for Halloween parties, I try to yeah. go with the, uh, you know, whatever the event or holiday is, I'll add my own little touches on the bags and we put ribbon, I'll put special awesome. napkins and fun stuff. Yeah. You know, like we have uh, a lot of, a couple of cardiologists that live in town. Right. And uh, a couple of cardiologists that live in town and what um, was happening is, is that uh, to reward the staff, you know, that we're doing ham, brisket, mozzarella, pepperoni, which I love. <laughs> I love, but it might not, not be the best too, thing ever. Not the yeah. best thing to give a cardiologist. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, it might be good for business. In a way. Yeah, exactly. so it was sort of like, uh, you know, they came in there like, listen, this is a great concept. We love it. Our kids are eating it. They eat it. Um, and we've been doing platters to a lot of the doctors in town, mm-hmm. a lot of doctors out That's of town. Awesome. So it's been really putting us over the top. Awesome. I love your idea of like, you know, creating something for your family to do together, right? Like oh, I think that's awesome. that's really cool like that you saw that your kids were into the restaurant business and like let's create something. Is uh 
does it still hold up or uh, are you, you like, what? what have I done? <laughs> <laughs> Let's put it this way. I'll let Christine answer this one because <laughs> what do you got, Christine? it is not easy. It's not easy. You know, first of all, challenging. for 25 years, I worked crazy amounts of work on it. You know, right. from 9-11 on, you know, I was like a pretty non-existent entity in the house. Right. Boss. Um, yeah. Boss. So <laughs> when I, when I <laughs> left and retired... And, uh, you know, being next to Christine all day, right? Uh, it was challenging. Yeah. It was challenging. You know, what she, was it like getting them back, Christine? Uh, <laughs> actually, you take that. Either. So, I, I'm a very take charge person and I'm right. a perfectionist. So, yeah. I am I'm rough on everybody because it's food. It has to be perfect, it has, to be, it has to be a certain way. Right. You know, um, the way I'm trained, just the way I am. It's just yeah. my work ethic is amazing since I'm just the way I'm raised. So everything has to be just so. It has to also be um, perfect for the franchise. I yeah. want to make sure I uphold my, you know, success and show, you know, that I'm doing everything I'm supposed to do. We do everything exactly the way the franchise owner wants it. So I'm very picky with mm-hmm. the way I want everything. I don't like shortcuts. I don't like... So it's been a challenge. Um, and my children are going back and forth to college okay. as well. So they're trying to study and work and it's hard for everyone. Right. So it, it's been um, it's been challenging. They are learning a lot. Mm-hmm. Um, I do the payroll. I do the ordering. I'm teaching them slowly. Okay. Um, as far as Ray, he really runs the Instagram account and now he's really stepped away from the store a little bit. He's mm-hmm. working. Now, um, I have been running it since day one. I'm more of a, of the hands Let it rock. person. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, um, he's not used to being in one place at one time, so he had a little bit of a, right? You get a little bit, not bored, but I would say that I really took over the responsibility for everything. It's more my thing. Right. And I took it and ran with it with my daughter and my sons, and they run the store with us. So, he stepped away a little bit, and he's doing other things. Yeah. Um, so, I'm really the boss. And I have a boss lady. lady. Yeah, that's cool. Yes, totally. But it's been challenging. My children, you know, I got to go home and I have to be the mom also. Yeah. It's been a little bit, you know, um, it's hard. But with uh, a lot of work and a lot of talks and a lot of let me take you to dinner and let's talk about it. That's what we do because we're very close. Communication in any scenario. It's huge and it's hard. And if they need a break, you know, take a day or I'll take a day. Yeah. It's not easy. But um, it's been a challenge. Challenge. Getting better. Day by day, right? But I it's think hard. what happens, it's not easy, yes. you know, um, the people come into town, from town, they come in, they see Christine, they see myself, right. they see yeah. my sons. Yeah. You know, they like it, they like this. They family. like mm-hmm. that, they like that vibe. Right. You know, yeah. It's sort of like, uh, and then the kids that we hire, we hire the kids from town. Yeah. yeah. So it's sort of like. Uh, it's nice. Family friendly community. Family friendly, constant. Yeah. You know, constant. Um, Kids that are in town that are pretty, you know, they're on the atmosphere. swim team, yeah. they're on the, the basketball team, they're on, so they know a lot about nutrition, yeah. so right. it, it kind of goes hand in hand. It's like, it was like meant to be, you know? Yeah. Um, it was a good fit. Yeah. Now, Colts Night doesn't have a, a downtown, you know, where it's like no. Red Bank. Right. But this this strip that you guys yes, are located closest in, closest to it, yes. Closest to it, and there's every kind of business imaginable. Yes. In, yes. I don't know how, how large yes. this is. So was that a huge part of deciding to be here? Yes. Is the spot we, for us? We like the spot. Yeah. Like I, I said, it was spot. close to home. You know, I figured if we were to go to a busier location, possibly um, by the you know uh, to travel to go back and forth. Yeah, it was ideal. You know. Um, yeah, it works for us because, like I said, we live five minutes away. Yeah, my daughter goes to school. It works. The kids go to college close. Um, yeah. So it works because we literally run all day. You know, if we need something, we can grab it. My son can get my daughter. It just works for us. And so there's always a family member here, which was ideal for us. That's what we wanted. Yeah. We didn't want to be an hour away and travel and not be hands-on. Yeah, of so course. So that's what works for us, even though it is a quieter spot. So we're just going out there to work to get, you know, a little bit more, uh, to, to be a little bit more known. Because yeah. it's, a, it's hard. We're, it's a small country yeah, it's a, town. It's a small But that's what town. we love yeah. about it at the same time. Yeah. And like you said, um, the kids will get dropped off in this plaza and they'll get a cup of coffee and we welcome you them. hang out bring the yeah, coffee in yeah. here one of you get a bowl one do, you know they'll come in with a sandwich from subway a pizza from gianni's and we're all friends we love it we yeah. don't care we have free wi-fi come mm-hmm. in here we're all friends we're yeah. all the owners of the stores we're all friends so so, so there's works. a big sense of community yes yeah okay. it works. and, and it, it works, works. it yes. works you know like nice. i said it's uh you know we, we talked about evan from man versus wood yeah. you know 
it's just being here a year and a half. I've met people that. Yeah, we've met wonderful people. We've great, 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 people, nice great, great, great town. You know, you'll see the mayor come in. You'll see. Uh, yeah, I can tell from guys like Evan that you're a welcome addition to town because nothing like you existed before. Right. So everyone's excited, like, Thank you know. You. And there, honestly, it Thank was you. a challenge right. because, you know what, you had to kind of convince the town right. that we would be a good fit. Yeah. And I'm going to be honest, back in the days of Caesar, you could be thumbs up or thumbs right. down. Yeah. You know? right. So... We worked hard, real hard, to kind of be that. That's cool. That good thumbs up. Well, you know, own. your your mentality is it's family owned, family run. Right. Employees are local. Yes. Communication with other local businesses. Yes. So everything that you're saying is like a platform for a successful local business. Sure. Thank you. Yeah. Well, yes. what trying happened? To, that's what we're trying to build. Yeah. So it's it's working. But then Beautiful. what you don't realize, and this is what <laughs> I didn't realize being in business for myself, is you have good. Busy days, you have slow yeah. days, you have rain days, you have slow right. days. Yeah. You know, what happens during those days where you're closed or your construction might be a little bit busier outside where you're losing income, Yeah. you never get that back. It's true, right. You never get, you try hard, but you never double your business the next day. Right. Yeah. You know, so that was something, you know, working for the Port Authority, I've always got to check. 9-11 happened, the next week I got to check. Right. Yeah. It was just one of those things where, you know, you really have to work hard. And I, and I really give business owners a lot, yeah. a lot. As a, lot a as a business owner, it's tough. Like, there was just a fire in Ocean Grove, right? Sure. And so all of those businesses in the building that burned down are gearing up for their biggest season of the year, yes. right? They, they survived it's the so winter, sad. it was yeah. closed, and then like that, like, there goes my season. But right. even weird things you don't anticipate is like, I have some friends that have a coffee shop up the boardwalk, mm-hmm. and so th- this was a big weekend for them because there was a convention going on sure. in Asbury, a lot of people were down, and just the way the smoke flowed, they got evacuated from their building, had oh, to shut down, right? Great. So they, they're closed, they have damage right. that you wouldn't even think there's damage, wow. but it, like, the, it, like you said, it's you're you're dependent on cash flow and sure. it doesn't come back if you lose right. those, even those days. So you got to figure out how to make it up. That's, right. that's, that's my right. job. So network like, okay, more, communicating. Well, that's, network why, catering that's why we're involved with um, Asbury's um, Business Association. That's why we're involved with Colts Network yeah. Business Association. Yeah, the that's networking why. is huge. The we, networking we, we is huge. I could Association. never say it's enough been about amazing. it. Right. Mm-hmm. Social media is yeah. huge. Yep. You know. It's huge. Cool. Social media is huge. You're down the road from the high school, so yeah. definitely want that presence. You know, yes. and, and yeah. what it's a big thing of word of mouth, though. I, I do find in in our case because we're so local, a lot of people come in and say, "My girlfriend comes here with her kids. She said it's great. I met her in the soccer yeah. field or whatever." So we're getting a lot of uh, people, you know, word of mouth saying it's fun, friendly for children. Let me bring my kids here. Let me go do some errands, and I can leave my twelve year old because I know the mom is there or the you know. So it's. It, it's and nice we do to, believe that I love the town is to grow. Oh, right. I put a lot of games in there. Yes. We walked in, and the first thing we did <laughs> yeah, they, was play uh, Connect Four. I yeah. challenged them, and I lost. Unfortunately, so I did well, win. You know, it's yes. something that that was something that, <laughs> that something my husband was like, I don't think that's a good idea. And I said, you know what? I think it's a great idea because even my older son, he likes to play chess. So yeah. what, we have chess board here, and he, but, like they'll sit here, and the college kids will come in, and they will. That is the first thing they do is play a game. Yeah, right. and even though we have the free Wi-Fi, they want to go off the computer. They don't want to do the homework. They start playing the games. That's what I said. I said I didn't notice the TV there. But I said, you know, you have this instead of a TV. Yeah, yeah. And that's the TV. Yeah, and that's, that's awesome. Yeah. It's, 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 that and cool. it's a blend between. If you look, the, the camera only gets a certain section, but you have like the rustic stone with the piping tables. Yes, beautiful look. And then you have the games that are. You know, original games yes. for, that we played growing up. You know, so it's it's old you can do a little spin around. Like there we go. School. It's That's a little, like. it's a little yeah. of everything. That's yes. cool. And it's uh, but the um, the industrial look that is Brooke. Um, Brooke is the founder. This is all her uh, design. Okay. So you know, it is all. It's just beautiful. That's what I loved about it. That it was so different. Yeah, and, uh, yeah, it's a, a great look. Complemented by the bright yes. pictures right, right. above and it. And yes, then what exactly. Christine did is she kind of did her own little. Little personal touches, little, yeah. little more touches homey and, and some fine that's cool. pillows. Um, and, uh, so yeah, I love it. And that kind of, <laughs> that's what kind of makes it like uh, a destination, so right? Yeah. Totally. I would say. Yeah, it's like an experience. Yeah, right. And yes, that's what we talk about. about also, so that's cool. You know, talking about millennials. And yeah, that's all about, it's all about the experience. Now, it's right. all about the experience. Yeah. Yeah, you said free Wi-Fi, right? Free yes. Wi-Fi, definitely. If there's any millennials listening, this is yeah, a good yeah, spot to do some work. Yeah. I welcome them to do their homework. I gave a discount for the Brookdale students. Okay. Uh, we're in their map also because we live so, you know, yeah. we're, you know, uh, right we're located so close to them. 
and we will uh, deliver there. We, so we partnered up with DoorDash, okay. and Grubhub is uh, coming to town in the next oh, nice. couple of weeks. That's really nice. helped our delivery. And that we is have a lot huge of construction, so it's because been mm -hmm. um, throughout the years of commercial stores in mm -hmm. Postman, there's really nobody that delivers. Uh, wow. Yeah. So it right. was one of those things where this is actually like uh, it's fun. a they new need entity. A new entity for right, the town, yeah, right? You know, so it's uh, and, and I do foresee the town growing. Sure, you know, I do foresee it uh, getting bigger. I know the construction is going to be huge because five thirty seven is a direct pipeline to uh, Fort Monmouth, which right. I know they're going to yeah. start doing some work there. Um, take it straight; you're going right to Pier Village. Yep, you know, um, mm -hmm. Route eighteen some, is right here. Too. Route eighteen's right there. Great, you know, so as far as the location, I think once everything kind of cleans up, yep. as far as the construction out there, it's fine like a, a bigger thoroughfare. I, I think it's going to be a, a big hit. That's cool. Plus you know, that, we, the new distillery. We have a distillery. right there. Yes. Yeah, um, so we're friends with them. We actually partnered with them and we have a soda. Oh, uh, no, that's the brewery. Oh, the brewery. The brewery. Well, there's a brewery the in the distillery. Right that's yeah. what we opened yeah. yeah. up to next week. Too. And yeah. the distillery's doing great from what I understand, too. So. And, and from, yeah, from that drinks. perspective, that's a new it's business fun. relationship, new, yes. new person to collab with. Yeah. You yes, know, we've been there a few parents. times. That's a great place. And then yeah. the food truck in the back. It's yeah. fun. Yeah. Nice, nice. That's cool. It's fun. All right, so let's talk about what we got going on on the table. We'll get down to the basics of... What Fruit of Bowls is all about. What are we looking at here? So, Fruit of Bowls, uh, we have three bases for our bowls. Okay. One is called the acai, which is the most popular. So, it's acai berries come from Brazil. Right. They're very tiny, and they're only 10% fruit. So, you need a lot of the acai berry to actually blend to make a base. Okay. So, um, ours are custom blended in the store. Right. Uh, we don't add anything to them, so they're 100% pure. We just add a banana, like a frozen banana to it. Right. They're delicious, and that's one base that you can choose from. Um, then secondly, the bright pink one is pitaya, which is dragon fruit. That's that one? Yes. Okay. So we blend that. That's the acai right there? The acai is the dark purple. Cool. Okay. And the hot pink is pitaya, which is also known as dragon fruit. Right. So we blend that with almond milk, pineapple, and banana. So that is also delicious. It's very sweet. It's a big hit. Um, also very popular. And then the green is actually fresh kale that we flash freeze, so it's a little bit harder. Right. So it's um, so it is fresh kale. It's mixed with almond milk. So could I give a plug? Sure. Pineapple uh, and banana. <laughs> kale comes from uh, Oasis Backyard. Oh, really? Yeah, so it's Which organic, is, it's, it's delicious, and it's local. local it's local? It yes, we yeah. use local, local fresh in, kale. Uh, yes. Oh, cool. So, uh, she's actually got to the point where we sell so much kale that she's actually allotting us a spot just for her. Yeah, because we order a lot of it. Oh, it's delicious. Nice. It's just fantastic. Now, do they, is their kale, is that going to, like, are they supplying all the fruitables, or is this, well, do you this guys kind of... Um, this is what happened with that. Uh, because we wanted to keep uh, a lot of local concept in the town, mm -hmm. being that it is a farm town, mm -hmm. uh, we kind of took the lead on it and okay. just went with it. Right. Um... And we've have a, we have a great relationship. Like I said, she's planting her own, you know, her own little section for it. Um, so it's been it's been going well. That's cool. And then, Hi. as far as obviously the acai is not coming from around here, but no. are there other fruits that you guys source locally that go into your your stuff, or are they kind of from all over? Um, the fruit we actually get from a distributor, uh, U.S. Foods. That's good. Um, we also have a local vendor that we use. Uh, obviously, we're not going to get acai, mango, right. bananas. Um, but <laughs> what it. happens yeah. is that it's comical because right down the block, we have delicious orchards. Right, totally. So there's been times where we've been real busy. Yep. And in a pinch, we had to go visit our friends at Delicious Orchards. <laughs> right. You know, yeah. um, so it's, it's kind of like I said, getting back to that. Everybody in the town chips in. You right, know? that's cool. Um, and Delicious Watch is a major, major player. They're huge. They, everything they have is incredible. To right. go there is an experience. Sure. Yeah. You know, so to have them right in our backyard, it's 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 that ideal. That is cool. Yeah. And literally, Trump Golf Course in our backyard. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Right around the corner. That is crazy. Well, it's right there. So then we did we did all. Th is one, two, three, right? Yes. Yeah. Right now the the kale, the kale, the green base yeah. that you guys are trying. 
Um, why I picked that bass, it's actually, we have a signature bowl that was made with uh, a local girl that um, <laughs> is a f- professional female bodybuilder. Oh, Her really? name is Michelle, and she runs Revolutionized Fitness. Right. So probably over a year ago, she came up with us. She came up to us and asked us if she could help us. Right. And uh, the kale base has a pollen protein in it, mm. so you're getting your protein. She wound up. We wound up working together uh, with Fruta, and we have a perfect meal replacement, pre-workout, post-workout bowl. So basically, that would be eating. You know, uh, if you ate a whole bowl of the kale, right. With the protein, with the berries, with the peanut butter, with a little bit of coconut and chia seeds. Yep. It's, uh, I believe it's a 500 calorie bowl. She worked out the macros yeah. uh, for her clients and right. professional bodybuilders and just regular people that go for nutrition counseling. Mm-hmm. And uh, less calories, no granola, right. and less sugar. So it's a perfect uh, meal so balance a, so and more gotcha. protein. Right. And nice. I think we wound up getting, what, 27 grams of protein in that? Oh, wow. Yeah. So That's it's insane. 27 grams of protein, um, 500 calories, and perfect meal replacement. Um, and through her... Uh, and her transparency yeah. and our transparency, we wound up hooking up with uh, a pollen gym. A pollen gym has a pollen nutrition. Right. Um, and everybody that has introduced us, we have like a strong little niche of other business friends. Yeah. Um, you know, we. Yeah. I, I was going to say, I'll just shout out your Instagram real quick because I forgot to before. It's at fruitables underscore Colts Neck. Yes. Um, you always have a lot of pictures of like. A lot of fitness people involved that yeah, are popping we, in and seem yeah. to be like interacting with you yeah, guys a lot. Yeah, it's, it's it's awesome. It's 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 a niche that we've kind of accidentally came across, but mm-hmm. now that we have it, we we empower it. Right. Um, yeah. It is awesome because what's going on now is that we also have a big vegan population. Right. Um, and that's something that is incredible. Where uh, the products that we have, we could do non dairy. Yeah. Um, and we could do uh, a vegan protein or vegetable protein. So it is hitting it on all, all levels. Right. As a matter of fact, uh, a customer of ours and a good friend is New Jersey Vegan. Mm-hmm. Um, she came in because our dentist is down the block. And uh, I asked her a couple of times when she was here, her advice, her you know, take on a lot of stuff. Right. She's been great. <clears throat> um, so... We're That's hitting cool. that population. Yeah. Um, the, like I said, the niche with the bodybuilders, the yoga moms, the yoga parents, yep. the yoga kids, it's just... And I think the, uh, the kale is an awesome alternative because, you know, like, this is an amazing kale delivery system, right? Like, it, you know, kale can be tough even if you yes. try to blend it. Right. Yes. But this is really flavorful and smooth. And then for people that, you know want to cut back on the sugar or right. looking for a different alternative now you have an yeah, option you know where to get your kale in well, right, right. Even realize well how about this the kids a lot of parents right. order it and the kids, kids don't even know <laughs> the kids don't, know. <laughs> they don't know what's in there it's sort of like, like a pineapple right. Right. I have yeah. no clue that's huge yeah. my no son clue. too doesn't eat any vegetables he eats the kids oh, really? yeah. mm-hmm. and it's cool. it's, it's kind of a win-win it's kind of like that anything green is good yeah to the point now where like people are asking for it right yeah, that's, that's awesome. Yeah, my, my son would eat that, and there's zero chance I get him to eat a piece of any kind of lettuce. Right, right, right. Um, yes. You know, we we give him uh, low fat Greek yogurt and tell him it's ice cream, yeah. and he doesn't know the difference. Right, so exactly. uh, any other kid wouldn't know the difference, sure. you know, besides the color. Right. right. Well, you know, it's, it's funny though, right? We it's rich. A, a lot of the kids that come in, the parents, um, when we first opened, we thought they they would ask for like a fruit twist, you know. So a fruit twist was like strawberries with Nutella. But as we're watching the same kids come in, they're like, no, they want an acai bowl. They actually love the acai the pita- when they taste it. Yeah. So now they're coming in with little, t- two years old, and, they lo- and they're eating yeah. a regular bowl. They're eating a big bowl. Really? They're eating a Which bowl. Yeah, I mean, bowl. we have smaller bowls. Now. We do have a child size, a yeah. smaller bowl now. But they're actually asking for the bases, which is which is so nice to see. They're not just asking for fruit. Yeah. They like the base, the pitaya. They'll say, "Give me the pink one." Right. You know, yeah. and they're little and they love it, so it's really nice. That it's is for cool. all ages. That's awesome. That's awesome. Yeah. And now you, I see that you guys have quite a bit of merchandise from other healthy lines. Yes, what we did was is um, through our friends at Revolutionize. Okay. Uh, and a lot of the bars are something that uh, 
are a lot of added sugars. They mm -hmm. taste good. That's why they taste good. Yeah. Um, I'm going to let you guys sample some of my protein bites. Okay. Uh, which is our kind of one of our signature items. Uh, it's made with protein. Okay. And uh, we have our employee Matt that just makes them religiously, where we can't even keep them in the store. Um, makes them every day. Makes How, many them every day. Day. How many do you think you make a day? Uh, you know what? We literally probably do at least 50, 60 dozen a week. Am I right? He does, yeah, he'll make a batch at least a day, like 15 yeah. dozen. And wow. is that a franchise dozen. product or is it's that something? It's a franchise yes. product, okay. but what we did is we added the. But product. they made in house. Every Everybody okay. makes them homemade in their store with the same gotcha. recipe. Same recipe, okay. We're using the Apollon protein. Okay. Which, uh, the thing that I like about the Apollon is that it's a little bit more money, so. You like that as a business owner, huh? I like you like that. to spend more money. Well, <laughs> in your you know, I don't, but I'm also giving you, I want to say, better quality. Premium yeah. product. Yeah. So they're uh, another local business you've found, right? Yes, they're found, located right? in Edison. They're, they're a great outfit. Uh, you know, a lot of times you go into, like, say, a GNC and you see all these proteins and, you know, fat burners and uh, creatines and all these supplements, and you say to yourself, which one is good? Right? Yeah. Um, the thing that I like about a pollen is on the back of their ingredients, right. the big word is transparency. Mm -hmm. um, and through that friendship and trust, uh, I believe they're one of the premier mark, uh, nutrition companies right. mm -hmm. in the market. And uh, I feel comfortable yeah. being in my store and using it. All right. um, and a lot of my niche friends yep. that are in the business. Yeah. Are kind of gravitating to it as well. Right. So we kind of have a strong nucleus. Um, you know, we, I have Lamara Sport where that's friends with us. They have all the women leggings. Okay. I have friends that have uh, just opened up a couple of gyms. Uh, we have Let's revolutionized. Yeah, that's what we did. Okay. okay. And we'll, we'll, that's we'll, cool. Yeah, we'll kind of have a, a like an event. We'll give out some samples. They'll give out their uh, card information. Yeah, so uh, it's just a, a a group of businesses that became friends. That's and, cool. Mm -hmm. You know, it's we, we trust each other, and that's what you know we we really trust each other. So the these are what were they called? Protein bites. Protein bites. I'm going to get some. Are beer. they? Um, do people use them like as like snacks? Are they meal replacement kind of things or both? It's it's both. Yeah. Uh, you know, let's face it. The town is small. Everybody's on the go. Uh, People commute back and forth to the city. Mm -hmm. On the weekends, you got every sport imaginable going right. on. Yeah, they're a great um, snack. Yeah. So it's a great yeah. snack. In other words, natural energy. If yeah. you would yeah. just run and, and take yeah. kids to a soccer game, and <laughs> yeah. instead of giving, you know, and I'm not going to talk bad about it, bacon, egg, and cheese, right. yeah. you're going to grab these protein <laughs> bites, and, right. you know, you're kind of good for the, you know, good for right. that. The filling, they're delicious. Right. What I'm going to do is I'm going to get a couple of them and you guys could try them. All yeah, right, cool. Absolutely. We'll try those out. Um, so, Christine, while Ray's grabbing the bites, um, let's talk a bit, little bit about what it's been like to work with Fruit Bowls as a franchise. Like, was it helpful for you starting a new business, like to go the franchise route as opposed to just starting yes. your own thing from scratch? Absolutely. And, um, yes. Yeah, go ahead. I wasn't familiar with the food um, industry. So uh, the great thing about this franchise is um, Brooke had really uh, paved the way for her franchisees. Um, the training was amazing. You go to corporate, they'll train you for two weeks, and they'll show you every back end, you know, on a computer. They'll show you every single um, step of the way of uh, how to set up, how to order, how to do, you know, even before you hit the kitchen and then you go into the kitchen or you go into her store mm -hmm. for two weeks so I had taken my son and another manager so three of us trained um, you know 10 hours a day yeah. plus two weeks in corporate so it, without that training I would have never known how to run right. successfully so um, they really have, have um, did a really good job of, of teaching everything for, you know from scratch yeah. all the way up so it was amazing um, to be in part of a franchise in that sense because I didn't you know didn't know anything about it yeah, so right, that yeah. was a great experience um, I thought it was very the training was um, provided everything that I needed to yeah. start um, other than you know opening the drawers and getting the customers in when they even helped us with that though. <laughs> yeah that's cool <laughs> they did help they did help us for like a month with that too so that was amazing but 
uh, if it wasn't a franchise, I would have not known, uh, you know, where to start, where to go. So I love that. You got that, that confidence and that training yes. in the beginning. Yes. And uh, you said that your kids are in school, right, while yes. working here. Yes. Are they studying culinary arts? Or are they actually oh, the business management? Business, or? business okay. management. Um, eventually, they would love to open up sort of a brewery or a bar, you know, restaurant kind of a thing. Yeah. That, that is their dream. Both of them would love to do that, something like that. Um, in Manhattan, if they had their choice. Okay. So um, I know it's hard to open up a brewery in Manhattan, right? It is. Yeah. It's just that's something that they always talk about and they yeah. dreams about. So we said this might be a nice stepping stone. Let's start out since they don't I'm really a, I'll know try what the they want to do. You know, other you know they don't they know they don't want to be in an office. Yeah. So other than that, they said you know we like the restaurant, uh, the bar industry, the restaurant industry. They're entrepreneurs. Some kind of bit, yeah. Entrepreneur, yeah. Uh, real estate. They're all over the map, but they know that it's something that they want to pursue. They're not in culinary school, although Joey is still thinking about it. We, okay. We, we really, I mean, he's very, very detail oriented with culinary part of it. So we did want him to try culinary school. I'll explore the, the option. And explore yeah. it, but he, you know, he's on the fence about it. So yeah. we, you know, this might be something in the future that he does. That's so cool. That awesome. Looks into that. Some great culinary classes at Brookdale, also. Yes. We know a few people that came out of there. Yes, exactly. He does as well. Really he actually well. worked for one of the chefs. Uh, just opened a restaurant that did go to culinary school. In, oh, that's know. cool. Nice. Yes. Um, Let's get these a go. Do you know anything about like how many uh, Fruit Bowls franchises there are? Like, where were you guys in the mix of the number? Anything like that? I believe we Thank were you. number nine, wow. and I believe there are fifty oh, to wow. date. I, wow. I know it exploded, and she's just doing. She's very successful and doing amazing. How delicious! Those are really good. Are they delicious? Yeah. yeah. Can't stop eating oh, them. Singer. Once you eat one, you're just gonna keep eating. Them. <laughs> totally. If you love peanut butter, that's is that, it. Which one is this? But they're so healthy. They're loaded with protein. Wait. Yep, we have the calories on there. Um, there's two five five piece servings in there. So there's ten. Strawberries. <laughs> sure. Yep. I'm cool with all that. Yep. Uh, sure. So the great thing about the, 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 the menu, right? The great thing about uh, the menu and the bowls, yeah. getting back to the bases, um, you can customize anything that you want in any fruit bowls. So right. the great thing about that is people will come in and they'll say, you know what, I love the frutella because I love the banana and the strawberry, yeah. but I like it on a kale base. So you have the option in our system. That you can customize, mix and match anything that you like. That's awesome. Take off blueberries, add kiwi. Gotcha. So it's nice. And then after a while, people will come in and say, I want my regular, and you know we start to know what the customers you know, like. You know, the usual. We know, and yeah. we love that they can custom blend it. If they don't like almond milk, we can offer coconut milk. We can yeah. offer, you know, we can give coconut water. We can, we can customize anything. We have vegan protein. We have regular, pro, you know, whey protein. So there's a lot of different um, choices. We also have toast now, which is great. Okay. Like a bravocado. Right. Avocado toast is such a huge trend right now. Totally. Yep. We sell a lot of those. We could do combination. Pl- now we do a small bowl combo. So That's cool. um, it's come a long way. We have smoothies. We have okay. a lot of different options. That's awesome. Um, for a whole family to come in or a group of friends is something for everybody. Awesome. Right. So what are, are these two different ones or are they the same? Um, we have we have it listed on there. Sometimes it's different flavors. It's the whey. Oh, uh, whey, yeah. So that would be whey. It's probably vanilla or chocolate protein. Usually okay. It says it on there. We typically use a chocolate whey protein. Um, we also made plant last night. We have a lot of plant lovers. So I know he made all fresh plant last night. Okay. Um, I think he made about 15 to 20 dozen, and then he places them in the uh, little containers. You can freeze them, or you can keep them in the refrigerator for up right. to a week. And they taste exactly the same. That's awesome. They're very good. Thank yeah, you. They really bites. are. Yeah. That's crazy. But it's so, even if you freeze them. You yeah. Can, you know, just throw them in a, some, your lunchbox with the mm-hmm. kids or on the way to the gym. So Ray's making us a couple bowls to try out. Yeah. What I thought was interesting is, so I love acai. And what's the other? What's That's that? my favorite too. Pattaya. Well, yeah. So I like that as well. But all three of us are going to try the kale, which is funny, right? It's so funny. You want to so it's like, <laughs> there's, there's a reasoning for that. So yes. this morning when I made lunch, I didn't throw any greens into it. Uh, I'm having... Brown rice, quinoa, grilled chicken, and corn, right? Right. And I was like, you know what? I kind of should have some lettuce, but it's not my, yeah, my so go-to. Yeah, very healthy, yeah. I'm going to get my fix right now. Right. So if you meal prep, that's what I've been doing. Yeah. If you meal yeah. prep the grilled chicken, and so you can eat much healthier. Yeah, if you totally. Meal prep and think about it. And I actually, uh, I knew we were coming here, so I didn't bother to pack lunch today, so... <laughs> <laughs> Well, if you have protein, you're going to get everything, right? Yeah, yeah totally. You're going to so, try everything today. So I am curious, uh, does Ray typically wear a sport coat every day, or did he, like, dress up special for no, us today? No, he dressed up special Did he? Look at yes, that guy. He did. <laughs> <laughs> I wanted to, 
too, but I have to work today, so I have to wear my jeans and my black top. That's pretty funny. You don't want to um, be making that in a dress. Yeah. <laughs> so would you say, uh, like, how would you evaluate your year in business so far? Has it been a year? Is that what you said? It's almost a year and a half, and okay. the funny thing is um, a snow day for us last year in, in Blizzard. This, yeah. this winter, obviously, there was no snow, but right. last year, a snow day, we had probably did better than a rainy day. Oh, really? It, it's very weather-driven. It's funny. I brought the fireplace in for the winter, so we do have a lot of customers come in in the snow That's day, cool. give some hot chocolate. They'll have a bowl, and they'll hang out, because if they call like a snow day at school, right. yeah. we're actually busier than on a rainy day. That's actually a nice bonus. Yeah, yes. right. Because yes. you think, like, all right, we're going to exactly. be dead today. But exactly. That's yes. awesome. Yes. And then we also have a lot of fundraisers, mm -hmm. a lot of uh, the high school, particularly for the teams. Right. We'll give 20% out of 20% of our sales back to the school or the organization. Oh, nice. Um, they'll bring their friends and family. They'll... We'll, we'll post it on social media. They'll put a flyer up in school, like softball team, where the cheerleaders, the drama club. Mm -hmm. They'll have karaoke night, and you know if they make a thousand dollars, we give them a check for two hundred. So yeah. uh, everybody wins. We well, just give cool. them a check, and they'll go buy uniforms, we'll do a class trip. So we do a lot of um, fun things like that. Um, typically on a slow night, it yeah. could be a Tuesday night. So we do a lot Bring of fun things like people that. People in the door and yes. keep it going. Yes, and then it shows you know people that didn't know we were here. Maybe the parents will come in and say, "This is wonderful. I didn't know you were here." I'm glad to come in. Thanks for helping out the students. And then they'll mm -hmm. come back next week, bring your friends, maybe, you know, get a smoothie, or you met a, new per a nice person, and right. maybe be a customer or a friend in your future. Um, we're also starting to have parties here, uh, birthday parties. We've That's done cool. build-your-own parties. We have a lot of space. Yeah. So we can hold a lot of people. Yeah. So um, we could have any kind of party. They could bring a cake. Yeah. They could build the bowls. They could bring in a pizza. So we've done a couple of fun things like that. I'll get balloons. And, and how late do you guys so, usually open? So we just went back to 8 o'clock. Okay. So we do 8 o'clock, spring and summer. We went um, to 7 o'clock in the winter right. because the plaza got really quiet on those really cold days. Yeah. Um, as soon as uh, daylight savings hit, we started getting busy in the evening. So we just reopened again to That's 8 o'clock. Cool. Yeah. So do you find, do you get a lot of people that are like, it's like the classic family trip to the ice cream shop, like they come here yes. instead at night? Yes. That's cool. Absolutely. Right. We have a lot of families come after dinner. Uh, after the beach, um, after karate, right. you know, because uh, after they go to nine rounds next door, a lot of their customers will come over and have a smoothie. So it's really, like I said, working well with the with the plaza. It's nice to be in a plaza. Yeah, it's, it's good. Great. Yeah, it's, it's a good lot of fun spot. Things in the plaza. It's a good spot. So once the once the construction's done on five thirty seven thirty four, it's going to streamline more yes. traffic. I hope right. so. Totally. That's the plan. Yeah. We noticed a big difference when the construction started. It, it's it it was. Um, difficult this winter they had closed our uh, one entrance yep a couple of times you couldn't get in the plaza so it's been challenging right so it's getting better because they went up down further a little bit down the block yep. so it's a little bit better now so with uh spring breaks i know st john vianney starts spring break this week it starts on friday friday all right so we're this friday. so um are you guys expecting a, a big increase in, in some traffic you know, if the weather's it, nice it's funny um sometimes that does happen you'll see a little bit of a boost around the holiday yeah but we did notice um like you said in this town an overall year we have pretty much been steady the entire year okay uh we might have picked up in may a little bit but a lot of people go on vacation in the summer yeah uh, a lot of beach houses in this town so we don't see a huge boost in the summer like the other stores do okay we we are uh, pretty consistent okay Consistency is so, good, though. And then are you kind of? Great. Yeah. I'll take consistency any day, yeah, rather totally. than up and down. So I, I, yeah. I agree. So are consistent. you also like the dream job? Like every kid wants to work here in the summer. Yes, absolutely. I, we're getting phone calls and we're getting people oh, every wow. night. This is a dream job. It's really fun. Um, um, very easy as long as they do, and everything as long as it's clean. Yeah. And everybody's happy and oh. smiling. I'm, uh, I'm a pretty easy right. boss. They will tell you. <laughs> I'm, I'm very uh, generous to the kids. Mm -hmm. I'm nice to them. It's a, it's a fun place to work. Right. They get a break. They eat. Their friends come. They can hang out when they're working. It's That's very, cool. very uh, calm atmosphere, and it's fun. And right. the music's la loud, so it's just fun. That's fun awesome. Job. That's this cool. This is a beautiful little <clears throat> All right, Ray, so why don't you tell us a little bit about what you made right here. All right. This is um, a little t little different than what we usually do. Right. The uh, Rev Bowl that we use is, uh, I explained to you, had the... Uh, kale with the uh, pollen protein in it right um what i did was just for the flavor of uh getting all the different aspects of the fruit in there i gave a little twist i gave you a little bit of the granola that we use <clears throat> i gave you some pineapple strawberry peanut butter and of course christine's go-to nutella 
Nutella. Oh, nice. Nutella. That's <laughs> blood type Nutella. That's so, right. <laughs> um, yeah, so... You can't go wrong with Nutella. No. But what I was trying to say with... Now you said your kids might not like kale. Doing it this way, I mm-hmm. don't mm-hmm. think there's really any kid in the world that probably would say... Yeah, I don't think they could argue. Yeah. Do you have like a code word that people could use to come in and order kale for their kids? Yeah, it's kind of like, just give me the green base. The green machine? The yeah. green base, yeah. That's cool. You know, or else we'll just call it the Rev Ball. You know, <laughs> we, right. we have it called the Rev Ball. So uh, it's, it's been doing well. And That's like awesome. I said, that niche that we talked about on the Instagram and social, mm-hmm. um, you know, a year and a half ago when I even started Instagram... Um, I was getting DMs and texts, and right. I was like, "What do I do? You know, this is what do I? How do I do this?" Yeah. Have you taken it, classes to learn? No, the no. lingo. I actually <laughs> learned from my daughter. Okay, there you who go. Originally started it, and then I kind of took it over because yeah. she yeah. was. She yeah, felt he does. He does social media. He, he's full charge of it. Yeah. You know what Touch I kind of learned was is that um, you know obviously if people want to see likes and. You know, they told us in the beginning they wanted us to post two or three times a day. And I'm like, you know, I didn't even know how to post once. Yeah. Yeah. You know? Um, The funny thing is, is that's how we met even before. Like, I followed you on Instagram before I knew you knew Evan. Sure. Um, Because my office was right down the road in Homedale. One of our managers. One of our managers. What's going on? Come on aboard. Jillian's been with us since day one. Nice. You're on Facebook Live right now. (laughs) <laughs> you're on camera. Oh, wow. Say hi to your peeps. You're on, you're on, Say you're hi. on camera. So, what's your best um, Say hi Ray and Christine work, yeah. story? Give us a little like behind the scenes of like. What's my favorite? Yeah, I mean, because you're like part of the family, right? Yeah. She's dating my son. She's actually. Oh, you get it. Oh, so you got some real good yeah, stories. Yeah. <laughs> uh, <laughs> what's what's like a funny story you want? Yeah. Um, I think it's so funny when me and Christine always work together. We're always in the back. And, like, me and her are always, like, maneuvering around each other because we're trying to get everything so fast. And we're, like, always, like, nudging into each other and bumping around. Right. And we always laugh about how we're always just bumping around when we work together and right. stuff. Well, that's funny. So, funny. so is it hard to work with your boyfriend's parents and your boyfriend and then like have a life together outside of that no you don't even no, answer I, that I love it because it's yeah. like we all like figure out when we're all gonna work and right. it's like I feel like it's easier because if I can't work or something like he will work or Christine could right. or if right. Christine has to go to something or has an event or something Cut like I can work for right. her you know that's cool. Also, I, I feel like it would, everyone takes a little more pride in yes. in walking through the doors because it's it's yours. Well, well that's right? what I'm trying to teach my my <laughs> children the whole the pride. Yeah. You know? and, and we just talked about it where you said Instagram and social media. Let's face it, kids are coming in and they're taking pictures of this. So it's not like right. Yeah. Years back, where it's like if you had a bad hamburger, you wouldn't go back. That's cool. It's like mm-hmm. now it's like they post your picture. Yeah. And. You Fortunately, know. you have a very photogenic product, also, yeah, okay. because, right? It all it makes sense. Yeah, it's like a, you know, so that it's guy's like, got forty-five thousand followers. They're, yeah. they're gonna see that out there. It's like one of those things where it's like the colors, the pop. Wow, it's like it does the, have that many followers. Yeah. It's amazing. Well, we have a, a couple of uh, wow. residents that are up there as well. You know, like yeah, the, that's a lot. We have. I don't right. want to brag it or put it out there, but there's a lot of celebrities that come in yeah. as well. Right. You know, without putting them on the spot. Sure. It's, yeah, uh, you know, it's, it's a good thing. It's a good thing. It's a good oh, thing. I'm here like every day, and I'm not even working, and I'm coming here to get something to eat right now. <laughs> <laughs> oh, really? Yeah. No, I'm not working right now. I'm coming to get some food. <laughs> well, sweet. So, do you get that? Uh, is that an employee perk, or is that a, a part of the family perk? Where you stop? Um, she's always honestly, <laughs> yes, no, always honestly, neither. Like, yeah. I just love eating here. <laughs> a lot of our employees come here on their days off. They do. That's and then cool. we have customers that are amazing. They are here every day. When yeah. this was never here, here I would... Customers every day, they're eating something, whether it's a protein bite or a bowl. Yeah. Right. yeah. yeah so it's better than a bagel. It's better we're than... Every day. Yeah. 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 Oh, they're awesome. This is so yeah. 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 I'm actually going to give a plug to my uh, and the Matt actually, Riley. Yeah. Yeah. He makes the these religiously. They love all of them, but they try the protein. Yeah, I'm going to pick up a pack or two of those on my way out of here He's got such a beautiful work ethic, a beautiful mind. Um, he takes pride in that. That's you know? cool. And just like yeah. every every kid that makes the bowl, right. yeah. Yeah. they know that their bowl could... 
be on Instagram. That and is yeah. gotta be pretty. You know, That's one like, It's gotta be beautiful. You know, it's gotta I'll, be I'll get tagged all day long it's on high, pictures of both. Right. Yeah. Mm-hmm. To the point where I can't put that many on my Instagram. Like, <laughs> yeah. Right. All day long. Totally. Ming, we got any thoughts about the ball? Of course, I'm like the classic Ming, waiter. Think, like, I ask you right when your mouth's full. It's like full. he likes it. You're enjoying uh, it. Everything, yeah. else, everything okay, guys? <laughs> uh, it's amazing. I, I mean, I, I love these things. So, uh, well done. I know you use a higher quality product. And, oh, your fruit is, uh, you know, pretty fresh and uh, from around here. So, yeah, thank you. Nutella. Nutella. <laughs> Great. That's, the yeah, I mean, yeah, there's only, the only one word I got to say, Nutella. Nutella. <laughs> That's awesome. And the funny thing is, you missed it. Like, he asked us what we wanted. We all went with the kale, which I thought which was Which was, you know what? That right? was surprising. Yeah, it was pretty funny. That's my favorite. really good. That's yeah. surprising. Whole family. Actually, how whole family orders the kale. Her yeah. right? You know, but yeah. I do sell a lot of kale in the town. Right. You know, it's it's local. It's organic. It, That's it cool. comes from down the block. It's right. just the... Uh, That's awesome. You know. but, the, but the frutella sells, I'd say... Right? Yeah. Seventy percent of the day. Right. Oh, I'm sure. <laughs> yeah. Some people have variations of it. Take right. the banana or but fratella is just a staple or the fruta. Yeah. Mm. Signature fruta. Do so you right. sell the base uh, like separately? Like if someone you know wanted what? to buy if it. Somebody sure. wanted to, yeah. I would do it, you know. Yeah. Um, Anything they want we will uh, we provide. You know, we're pretty accommodating. The yeah. thing is what makes it a difficult product, it's hard to it's almost like getting a hot pizza and bringing it home when it's cold. You know, we right. have the direct opposite. We have a cold product that you don't want to get warm. Yeah. Right. You know, so it's almost like delivering ice cream. It's it's a you hard. Got, you got to get back. It's a fast, hard yeah. sell. You, you know, to, it's a hard. It's a hard yeah. transport. You can item. refrigerate it, but you, you know, can you refrigerate it. You don't want to um, lose the consistency. Yeah. Like what we'll do is like if we know if we have a big catering, we'll make the base fresh. Right. We'll freeze it and then we'll thaw it for it to uh, gotcha. you know for it to be served. So it doesn't melt. So, so you it's can actually sustain a two-hour party and, you know, dessert yeah. or Because you want that pudding and not melt. You want it like this. Right. So you, you want, want that, that texture, yeah. right. You want it like that ice thicker. cream, almost yeah. pudding mix. It's like that consistency you want, you know? Like, yes. you don't want, like, soupy, but right. yeah. the... Our fridges just keep them so. Yeah, it's <laughs> kind of amazing. It's just, that's the hardest part. I've bought um, like the packets sure. to try to make for my daughter at home, yeah, it's not easy. and it's always soup. Like it's yes. crazy. It's like no matter. A, it's a hard. It's hard very night. well thought out. I said yeah. I give the kudos to Brooke again, the founder. Mm-hmm. Um, the recipes and the amount of time that she put into doing this, and in in my friend Maria, you know her mother's kitchen. Right. For the consistency, it took them a long time to get exactly where she wanted it to be, and it's perfect. It's very good. That's Different cool. recipes and stuff. It took them a lot, a lot so, of work went into that. Yeah, so healthy right now. Totally. <laughs> um, so, so do you good. know, like, if someone's interested in Fruit Bowls as a franchise, yes. how do they reach out to Fruit Bowls? Do you know anything about that? Sure. Um, to fruitabowls.com, there is a, a form you can fill out. Okay. Um, you can call them, or you can just go online. And you submit the form, and they'll get back to you. They'll call you back right away. And, and what uh, happened is, it's funny because their corporate office is in Freehold, right down the block, on okay. 537. Right. We're off 537. So, uh, a lot of the 50 stores have actually visited this store as I want to. I'm, I'm actually proud to say, maybe like as a flagship. Oh, uh, that's cool. Yeah. Um, and it was probably sold a lot of the other locations because what happened is, you go to their corporate office. Right. You talk about the plans. You talk. You meet the owners. You meet the franchise. You know. You what's what's involved. Right? Yeah. And then, like three o'clock, as soon as the high school would get out, you would come to this location. So you would see, like, yeah, you know, see in action. High school, yeah. Yeah. RBC. Yeah. That's why it made us know. happy. We would show everybody around. You know, yeah. So we made us kids, and we were new, so you could see what we it's going to look like. We were proud to do it. That's you know, cool. Big pride. Yeah. So you know, I would say that we actually. Helped the concept a lot, right? You know, and it was we did that through the friendship and also out yeah. of our pride that we love this. Sure, the way our store came and decorated. Yeah, you guys, your store is awesome. It's Thank a great, really Thank cool you. spot, Thank nice spot to hang out in. Um, so, what's your plan as business owners? Do you like? Is your goal to have another location? Are you happy with what you have? I'm happy with what I have. Uh, like I said, I have the luxury of having a great pension. Right. Um, you know, uh, I've worked real hard to get to that level. So this was kind of like taking a gamble, but it was kind of a, it was a risk, but it was a risk that involved, uh, so I had something to fall back on. Right. Yeah. Um, so what I would like to see happen is my boys and my daughter eventually taking the location, right. keeping up with it. 
become a staple in the town, like you are, right. grow with the town, because I think mm-hmm. that's inevitable, I think that's going to happen. Mm-hmm. And Christine and myself, maybe doing more vacation. That's nice. More visiting, you know. Right. Uh, <laughs> You're like, oh yeah, more all this hard work. You know. <laughs> yes. You know, it's so relaxing. funny, because one of those things what we always talked about was Italy and Rome. And, yeah, we just you know, don't have the time to do any of that. Right. Busy. I'm on fire. It's I like, know, it's crazy, crazy. right? I, know, I was talking to people to yesterday. Too. Like, I fortunately have been there before, but when you talk to people, they're like, oh, I've never been there. Yeah. And then suddenly it looks like it could be it's gone. It's like, because I never was. And it's like, that's what's hitting me the most. Right. It's like, I... Yeah, you got to go experience these things, Yeah, right? I can never experience that now. Yeah, right. It's gone. Fortunately, they saved it. It sounds like, you know, tower. when I first saw it, it looked like, oh, man. Yeah. Especially because I just saw Ocean Grove up right, close right, and personal. Right. Yeah, I'm right. like, after seeing that, I'm like, oh, this doesn't stand a chance. But fortunately, they saved a lot. Yeah, no, but you're right. You need to go out and experience. Yeah, so it's uh, like that, you know, that's what is a reality check. You, you yeah. know, it's like, I, if something like that happens, you'll never see it again. Right. So let's get on. So that, that's the plan. All right, so that's so the plan. plan. That's right, the plan. Well, where are you going Stay first? Right. Italy? Uh, Christine's a beach person. <laughs> yeah, it's, you right know, to the beach. A lot of beaches in Italy. Yeah. Bahamas. A, I, do, I uh, want to go to the Amalfi Coast. I do. Okay. Yeah. I want to tell, I, I'm waiting, when my son graduates Rutgers, I told him I would take him there. He wants to go there. My older son, more that's than cool. everybody in the family, he really? always wants to go there. So if nobody else goes, I'll go with him. Places. And <laughs> I, I love... I want to go to Greece. I'm going to throw Ming in there, too. Bahamas. I'm just talking to Ming a little bit before we got set up. You know, that Asian fusion type of dining is hot, you right. know? Yeah. Um, and, you well, know, you did that last like night, right? Yeah, fruit, we did last night. night. It was amazing. With the fruit, it's sort of like, you know, is it like a trend? Is it like yogurt? Is it going to pop? Is it going to not pop? You know, granted, there's a lot of stores popping up, but fruit's been around since Adam and Eve. Yeah, right. it's you a know, healthy way to eat it. It's know, great. I, I, it's I think it started with an apple and a, and a snake or something. Yeah. Right. A guy and a girl. And, <laughs> you know, so that's how it started. Right? <laughs> something like that. So, so it's been around for a long time. <laughs> right. Yeah. You know? That's cool. So obviously, you have you always been interested in food? I have. Uh, you-, you know what? I, I love to eat. Uh, you know, obviously, it's one of those... Uh, I actually like the way food is presented yeah. you know the plating of it right mm-hmm. you know um you know when i was younger we would go out to eat all the time and you know you go to a french restaurant and it would be plated tremendous but you would leave and kind of be hungry afterwards right. <laughs> you know right. so presentation, um, is presentation is definitely there now i'm into presentation and bulk yeah right. <laughs> you know the best um, of both worlds yes yeah, you need so, it, yeah. Uh, and i think that's the kind of way of what uh what everything has been mentioned as far as like the new concept of uh Millennials and yep. how they eat. And, yep. You know, uh, we discussed it earlier. That's like it's it's the '60s with uh, black cards. Yeah. You know, Black American Express cards. Uh, they want that now experience. They want that vibe. They they want to feel totally totally relaxed with their uh, food. They want to take pictures of it. They want to send pictures of it. They want to say, "I'm eating this and you're not. Come get some." Yeah. Right. You know. Uh, Something that totally is not my generation, but I had to learn it. Yeah. Um, and Evan, I think you're doing a great job with what you guys do. Thank you, sir. You know, I think it's awesome. Mm-hmm. You guys are nailing it. You know, uh, I've been to a couple of the, uh, you know, the Asbury meetings, and you know, seven thirty in the morning, they're pretty energetic. That's we don't like, we don't mess you know, around at that time. You guys don't play. It's go you guys time. Don't play. Right? Seven thirty a.m. It's like most. It's like guys, we're all hopped up on acai. Yeah. <laughs> you guys are rocking. You know, seven thirty in the morning, it. you got a packed house. Yeah, so, uh, yeah it's very cool. You guys are really killing it. I, awesome. I love that. Um, I'm glad to be involved in it. Uh, Excellent. Well, we appreciate you having us here today. No, by no means. Thank you very much. Oh, um, yeah, once great. again, check out, I encourage everyone to come out to Fruit Bowls and Colts Neck. You're on you. 34 and 537. 537. Yep. Um, right at the intersection there, basically. Follow Fruit Bowls underscore Colts Neck on Instagram. We're going to like hang out and enjoy the rest of our yeah, bowls yeah, here. Yeah. And, like and, I uh, said, it's, uh, hang out, meet, the, meet our customers, and do whatever he's got to do. Enjoy the bowls. Uh, play checkers. Awesome. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, so. Who's the I, think, I think Mike wants a rematch. Uh, <laughs> you know, like My a, brain feels fueled about? right now, so I'll challenge you again. You know what? It's a brain food. I yeah, really. Uh, it is a brain food. I actually took advantage of that because there was a lot of conversation going on. So, like, yeah, yeah. <laughs> just keep you dropping. Know, you know. We do have Princess Dominoes in the back. Okay. Of <laughs> All right. We'll be, we have like a little uh, princess party over there. You can sit on one of the chairs. Uh, uh, I'll make my way. Wing is on one of the pink chairs. He's a princess. Sweet. All right. Cool. We'll. We 
definitely appreciate Ming. Thank you for coming Ming, out. Thank you. Um, running some on location. Uh, Shared Universe is always on the spot for for podcasting out in the field. Um, I'm Evan Balmer. Follow me on Instagram at Evan Balmer. Mike Marcia at Mortgage Guy underscore Mike. And check out the Mulletcast on Facebook at the Mulletcast. And you guys I think are we're great, man. You guys are awesome. Love it. Thank you. Thank awesome. You. Thanks, everybody. Thank you, guys. Thank you so much.